Today, I am going to explain you vector projections. Okay. So, there is one vector. This is U. Blue one. There is another vector. Black one. V. So, we want to find projection of U vector onto V vector. So, let's say there is a light parallel lights, ray of lights, and coming 90 degree perpendicular to V. So in this case, what is the shadow of U onto V? This red vector will be the shadow of U onto V. So basically projection means that same thing. So we can write projection u onto v so shadow of u onto v so formula for this projection this is the formula i'm not going to discuss how to get this formula i just want to explain how to use the formula so projection u onto v vector u dot vector v then divide by v squared magnitude of vector v square then vector v so if we do a numerical example so we write this way projection projection u onto v okay equal I write same formula again, just u dot v over v magnitude square v. Yeah, I, I just want to remind something. So vector v, uh, direction is important, it doesn't matter. So for example, if you take vector v multiply by 2 for example, 2, 6, 10. You can use instead of these two, you get same result. Or anyone, just say multiply by negative 1, negative 1, negative 3, negative 5. So what I would like to say, this vector V can be longer, shorter, or this way, it doesn't matter projection will be the same direction but vector u we have we shouldn't change vector u so if i plug the values into the formula u will be 4 negative 2 3 dot v 1 3 5 or so, what is the magnitude of V, uh, as we know previous formulas? 1 square plus 3 square plus 5 square. So, I don't use these two. I just use this one. Then square root. Then, this is absolute value. But anyway, we square it. It will be absolute. So, we write vector V. 1, 3, 5. So, when we go multiplication, or doing this, so that product, as you know, 4 times 1, 4 times 1, plus negative 2 times 3, plus 3, times 5 so this is the dot product so when we go down 1 plus 9 plus 25 square root ok then square then we write the vector v 1 3 5 so if we continue our calculation 
So I don't go to detail. This is very easy calculation. How to calculate this? So numerator will be 13. Denominator. So 1 plus 9 plus 25 is going to be 35. That square root again square will be same thing. So 35. Then 1, 3, 5. So, I will find the, the projection. 13 over 35 times 1. 13 over 35 times 3. 13 over 35 times 5. So, this will be 13 over 35. Comma. So, 13 over 35 times 3 will be 39 over 35. So, 13 over 35 times 5, 65 over 35. Yes, so this is the, this red one, red vector, this one. This is vector, not scalar. So, in the next, I will, I am going to explain magnitude or scalar measure of this. Yeah, in this example, I am going to explain you. So those are two same vectors, U and V. I use same vectors. This time scalar pro projection. So this again, light rays coming from up. This is U, this is V. But this time we just need the magnitude of this one. What is the length, just number? We don't need direction or anything. So length of shadow. Magnitude of projection basically same as length of shadow. So u and v. Again, we can take multiple of u. So this is the formula. I am not going to discuss the formula. So this is, as you remember, previous example. We get vector projection. This time we are going to find scalar projection. So if we apply the formula, I don't write the formula again. So this is the formula u dot v. What is u? 4 negative 2 3 dot 1 3 5. So absolute value. So v is going to be 1 square plus 3 square plus 5 square square root. So when we work on this Again, how we get that product? Okay, I write here that product. 4 times 1, 4 plus negative 2 times 3. So negative 2 times 3 will be negative 6. 3 times 5, 15. Okay. So this will be, denominator will be 35 square root 35 so when we work on this we get 2.2 .2. so this is just distance 2.2 .2. there is another method what we can do we can find we can use this quantity already a vector so we use this formula x square plus y square plus z square so this is the x coordinate, y coordinate square plus z coordinate square. So if we plug this this formula, what we get? 13 over 35 square plus 39 over 35 square plus 65 over 35 square then square root so when you work on this you get same number 2.2 .2. so basically again if I repeat again you can find magnitude by using this formula also if you previously calculated vector projection so this is the vector how do you find 
x koordinat square plus y koordinat square plus z koordinat square then square root it gives magnitude yes thank you turn off please buyurun basın hemen bassan işte kesmeye uğraşmayız bas bir